Hey everybody, Jason here uh, for RPG A Day 2019, day number five, yes, five, word number five, and today's word, uh, today's keyword is space, and <clears throat> the first thing that popped into my head uh, was outer space. Uh, like, you know, space flight, Star Wars, Star Trek space. But that's not what I want to talk about. Um, because that's uh, not as interesting, I don't think. Um, I shouldn't say not as interesting. It, it, it's not, you know, it's just not what I want to talk about. Uh, I had a, a better idea. And that would be your personal space for when you are either playing, role-playing games, or doing design work, creating characters, writing adventures, writing writing games, period. Uh, do, you, do, you know, do you have a personal space and what's in that space? So when I'm playing, because I play more than I GM, and we always, always, always play at my friend Chris's house, and we always sit in the same spots at the table, we always... Uh, Sorry, <laughs> my mustache feels weird. Um, we always sit at the same spots at the table, even when some of us aren't there. Um, and then when we sit, we always, uh, you know, we almost always have the same things in front of us. Like in my personal space, I've always got my uh, my my D and D five E players handbook, uh, usually closed, right in front of me with my character sheets, which is like four pages. Um, on top of it, which that's a lot of pages for a, for a role playing game character sheet, but it's stuff so spread out on the sheet that I use that that's just the one that I use, and I barely use any of the pages. And some of the pages are like, you know, your the lists of your spells and what pages they're on. One page has like your flaws and your background and your ideals and stuff, which. Um, you know, there's not really a big use for level 14 because you kind of know all that stuff by now. And the one page is, <clears throat> you know, all your equipment is on, on the back of the sheet. And then all your uh, main stats and abilities are on the front page. And so it's not like you're using all four sheets. And then my last page, my fifth page, is it was a blank piece of paper that I drew a picture of my character, a big picture of my character on. Um, that I kind of doodle on and, and flush out the picture a little bit. Uh, in downtime in game while people are shopping or leveling up or whatever and I've got some time to sit there and do nothing I'll, I'll draw a little bit more of my character and then I've usually got uh, a couple sets of dice that I have out and I'll switch dice out from time to time because uh, I've got really really bad luck with dice uh, and, and dice rolling so <clears throat> I, in, you know, almost without fail, have a couple of dice that are cold um, every session. So I'll switch those out here and there to try and get better rolls, but, you know, it doesn't help out a whole lot. But uh, So I've got a couple sets of dice out and then a bunch of random miscellaneous dice. Uh, you know, I've got some uh, D4s. I hate the D4. Uh, that little triangle die, that little pyramid die. I, I can't fucking stand that die. I hate that die. So... My favorite die is the D12. So I went on to Amazon and I got some 12-sided uh, dice that go one through four three times. So I roll those D12s as my D4s. I hardly ever have to roll a D4. So you would think, oh, it's a little pyramid. Who cares? You hardly ever have to roll it. But I, that's how much I hate the D4. <laughs> so I've got D12s, uh, which my best friend uh, Jeremy also has. He actually, he got those uh, first and I was like, that's fucking genius because I hate D4s. So I went on there and I bought a couple of myself. I've got those set into the side. I keep all my dice usually on one side. Then on my other side of my, my player's handbook, I keep <clears throat> my pencil, my eraser, and usually um, whatever caffeine that I have on me, which is usually a bottle of, you know, uh, some crazy color of Mountain Dew. And then to my, I sit on a bench, the, the table I'm at, uh, there's a bench against the wall instead of uh, chairs, like normal chairs. 
There's chairs around the rest of the table, but where I sit is a bench, which works out well for me because I keep my 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 book bag. I have a really nice uh, Chipotle um, backpack book bag slash deal. Uh, my wife works for Chipotle uh, in the corporate office, and so she gets cool Chipotle swag once in a while, and I use that as my my role playing game book holder backpack slash carry all and uh, with my pins all over it and stuff and I keep that <clears throat> on my left side and once in a while one of the uh, uh, one of the cats will try to jump up on it and I always push them away because I don't want cat hair all over it but and then on my right hand side on the bench I usually have like a small like bag from Giant Eagle because we always go to Giant Eagle before um, game night <clears throat> game play and get a couple snacks usually I'll get like a uh, I try to get gluten-free things because I'm a little gluten sensitive and uh, so I'll try to get little cheesy you know gluten-free snacks while I'm snacking while we're playing I try to keep my snacks beside me to the right and then uh, I dig into those every once in a while and then that's so that's kind of my personal space while we're playing D&D uh, &D. and then at home where I, I do, um, I very rarely do videos at home anymore because uh, I've, it's, it's just so hard. I don't have the time, you know, with having a two-year-old and just normal life. It's just, I'm so busy at home. I don't have time to do anything hardly. So I don't do a lot of work at home as far as writing on my, my games. I do a lot of my, my writing for my RPGs, like especially the, one, the, the 2D12 systems I've been designing. I do a lot of that work at work uh, on my 15 minute breaks. And once in a while on my lunch, but usually on my 15 minute breaks. So, you know, there's not a whole lot you can get done in 15 minutes or a half hour a day. So that's another reason why things go so terribly slowly. Um, but, so that's kind of uh, where I do that. But when I am at home and I do uh, work at home, most of the time it's in uh, our basement which is a cluttered mess uh, which thankfully none of you have to see when I'm on my my because I have a really nice camera set up down in the basement like a professional camera with you know, good professional lighting and uh, you know my laptop is down there and you know all my you know not all my games but a lot of my games are behind me on my shelves and I have a lot of miscellaneous stuff on the shelves like little action figures and um, DVD cover boxes and, and I got some uh, Evil Dead like Necronomicon replicas on the back shelf and um, a lot of novels and stuff and it's just a lot of stuff that makes me comfortable to be around so that's kind of that personal space so I've got a nice big uh, table down there that I do all my stuff on which is currently kind of a catch all because I haven't been down there in very long to, to record any videos because I record on my phone while I'm driving which is not the safest thing to do, but as you can tell, uh, I hardly ever look at the screen. Uh, more than likely, I'm usually looking out at the road, so I try to be safe while I'm doing all this. Um, so, my home personal space <clears throat> has all that stuff in it, all my books and stuff, and that's where I do a lot of my writing um, when I am home to write, which is not often, like I said. Um, but then, my car, is where I do a lot of my stuff, obviously, which, and now I'm on this shaky road again, which this road's terrible. And also, not only is the road terrible, the little thing I have, the little uh, phone mount that I have is pretty terrible too. I thought it was a good idea to have one that hangs from your rear view mirror, like for GPS and stuff. Not the case. I'm gonna have to get one that suction cups to either the dashboard or the window because those won't shake. <laughs> I just need to buckle down and get it, especially with this, as many videos as I do now. Um, it would benefit everybody involved for me to have a better setup. So, again, personal space in my car. Um, you know, my car is pretty... You know, my, my basement is a cluttered mess. The house is a cluttered mess because of the baby. There's toys everywhere. We have so many toys and books and, you know, kids' movies and stuff like that that, you know, it's anybody who has kids knows that your house is a cluttered mess when you have a, a two-year-old or a three-year-old. And probably even older. Um, but my car is the one place I can be that's nice and clean and there's no garbage and there's no toys. 
um, and it's not cluttered and uncomfortable and messy. It, my car is pretty, I keep my car pretty clean. Um, I've got my work bag right here. Um, I've got my cell phone down below there and in the back seat um, on the floor, I've got one of those little four cup carriers that you get, the little cardboard carriers from McDonald's to carry cups, uh, just in case I ever need to carry cups in from the house. I don't know why I have that there. I keep it just in case I might ever need it and I've never used it. Um, but that's all I have in my car. So my car is nice and neat and clean and um, I just armor all the inside of it, the dash and wiped it all down. And uh, So my car is the one place I have that stays fairly clean in my life. Um, it's my clean space. So there's nothing RPG related in the car um, other than whatever book I might have in my bag of, you know, for work reading. Um, but that's my personal space. Those are my three personal spaces when it comes to uh, role playing. Uh, maybe that's kind of a boring video and, and more information than anybody ever needed or wanted uh, or you would even care about. <coughs> Excuse me. But I didn't want to go the, the, the typical space route like outer space or, uh, you know, space related role playing games or anything like that. Um, again, maybe a little boring, but different. Hopefully different. Um, I hope you guys are having a good time with RPG A Day 2019. I'm glad you guys uh, are watching this for everybody who's watching. And uh, I hope you guys play, played some good games this, this past weekend. And uh, we will talk to you later. Bye.